we're here with Emma Baker Hi. from California Team USA. My gosh, I cannot believe all this jewelry you've got on. It's fun, isn't it? That is so much fun. I just thought I'd, you know, spice it up a little bit. And of course, we are here for California Queen. Uh, yes. The Team Social. California Queen Teen Social event. Teen Social Swag. Swag. Swag bag. Yeah. Got all my gifts from good sponsors and donating and trying to promote their companies. It's really do you, cool. Do you find anything really cool? Yeah, you know, I actually really like the idea of the photo booth. I think it's really fun. And you can like rent it out, bring it to parties, and then, you know, people have tons of fun. You get four pictures. You can do it as many times as you want. It's a pretty smart idea. So one of the things with this California team is you guys, don't you guys work with a lot of charities? You know, Kind of the idea of pageantry is that you do work with a lot of charities. Living in San Diego and, and commuting to Los Angeles all the time, you're in the entertainment capital of the world. And here, you know, we're visiting and working with Children of the Night, um, and I've worked with other programs before. But really, you try and want to you want to try and promote yourself as much as you can by working with these charities and by getting out and getting known and being in the media. So that's why I'm here today doing this interview. Ooh. <laughs> now, what are, um, actually, do you know about Children of the Night? Children of the Night um, is a nonprofit organization that is based out of Van Nuys, California. And they take children, uh, ages 7 to 11, that are American and living on the streets, kicked out of homes, unwanted. Um, and Children of the Night brings them into these uh, homes that they have provided with an education and a place to sleep and, and food and um, a place to really revamp their lives that can, you know, bring them out and back into the real world so that they are people, so that they are functioning. That's really good. Yeah, it's a great program. So, I have to ask you about, because you are a new Miss California team. Well, technically I won in November, so not that new. But I competed for Miss Teen USA in the Bahamas at, at the Atlantis and Paradise How Resort. How much fun was that? Last weekend, I placed second runner-up, which is pretty good. Congratulations. That's pretty Thank cool. Thank you. Yes, great. Whoa. Miss Maryland won, so congratulations to her. Go Cami. And uh, Illinois was first runner-up. I was second. Utah was third. And Maryland was, uh, Mississippi was fourth. I'm sorry. Emma, you've gotten something awesome that most people don't do, which is you're not a career pageant person. No, this was my first pageant, actually. I have never done pageants. I've been modeling and trying to make it in this industry, but I thought, you know, I might as well go for it. And I made it. You yeah. can achieve anything if you try. I know, that is really cool. So, I mean, because I know there's a lot of people that do this and work since they're, like, barely able to walk. So how yeah. do you think you able to become Miss California team without all that history behind you. You know, everyone asks me, and I, I, I typically say the same thing, you have to be yourself. And everyone says that, like it's no big deal, and like it's super easy, and I know it's difficult to be yourself. I went through high school, you know, I graduated, and I had a hard time in school, but here I am, working hard, being as natural as I can be, showing up, look at my jewels, I'm totally being myself, this is so fun. And you just, you generally have to work hard. Work hard, you know, working hard pays off with everything. And just be yourself. I mean, I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. I had no clue what I was doing. No clue. And I went for it. I walked down that stage. I laughed down the runway, trying to make myself like, come on, this is fun. Have a good time. You're loving this. You love the attention. You're loving the energy. And it paid off. The judges loved it. It was so much fun. So, do they have a talent portion for Miss California team? Nope. That's a different system. That's the America system. So, the USA system is owned by Donald Trump. And they have Miss Universe, Miss USA, and Miss Teen USA. So I was with the um, Miss Teen USA organization. So what has been probably one of the best experiences you've had since you've been Miss California team? Meeting people. People like yourself, people like my directors, people like Miss California, charities. I, I'm so interested in getting to know people. And this has been such a great way for me to market myself, to get to know other people who are trying to make it in this industry. And it's just really been incredible. It's been such an amazing experience for me personally. What would you love to accomplish by the time you finish your reign? Well, personally, I'd like to accomplish signing with an agency. I'm, me I'm meeting with them next week, and I am like crossing my fingers, hoping that it's going to work. To be an actress? Model. Model. But, you know, you may see me on Disney Channel. Who knows? Hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. So what ad would you love to be seen in? What ad? Or campaign. Campaign. Okay, well, I'd love to do a skincare campaign because I know that I've worked very hard to improve my skin since I was a teenager, and well, I still am, but um, I would love to be on Proactive has tons of commercials. I'm not really a testimonial because I've never used that, but I'd love a skincare commercial. I'd love to be, you know, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. I think that'd be so fun. 
You look like an easy breezy cover girl. Already. <laughs> you do. It would be so much fun. And then as an actress, because I know you're looking at modeling, are yes. you considering that? Acting? Yes. You know, I'm not close minded and I've never done it. I've never been to a casting call, so I, I don't know. I, I'd go for it, I guess. Of course. Well, one of the things is as either an actress or model, they always want to know what other talents you have. Yes, this is true. Mm -hmm. so I've taken acting classes. I've taken method acting, I've taken hosting classes, and I'd love to host. You know, I'd love to do this one-on-one -on -one interview where you can be yourself and you can have fun and just talk to someone. I, like I said, I love to get to know people and I, th I think that would be incredible. Well, I, see, I can see part of it. You just, first of all, you like people. Yeah, I do. I love people. It's fun. Hmm. <laughs> Since you represent California, yes. what do you think California is unique to for teenagers? For teenagers, I think California is all about being, because it's such a diverse state, you have the ability to be anyone you want. You can live in Los Angeles and explore any angle of the entertainment industry you want. You can move up to San Francisco, and I've always seen San Francisco as a really artsy area, the Bay Area. Um, you know, you can explore art on that side. You can, you can move down south, you can work with charities, you can... You know, I feel like the, the, the pros of living in California that you can really explore anything you want. Is there anything you'd love to tell your fans? Thank you. Thank you so much for all the love and support through my, my the road to Miss Teen USA. It was an incredible journey. It's not over yet. Um, I'm really excited. I, I'm passing on my crown to someone, some new girl who gets this wonderful experience in November in Palm Springs for the new Miss California Teen USA 2011. So I can't wait to see who it'll be. I know it'll be a challenge. And um, all you girls out there, work hard. Raise money. And where can people catch up with you on the internet, Emma? I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Catch me at my website, www.emmabaker.us. Thank you. Thank you.